How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a brilliant day. Today we're taking a look at how I was able to get 36,000 capital peak points from this last raid weekend. That is just over 6,000 points per attack. So let's take a look at the bases, see how I am taking them out, and if it is a first attack or a cleanup attack. So first on the list is a Skeleton Park. We've got the basic layout, one of my favorite districts to hit, because you can very, very easily get at least 6,000 points typically if your troops pad correctly. So we're going in with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Ram to open up the first quadrant. Once that opens up the deployment, I'm going in with the Ram, two Barbarians to the uh, Multi-Cannon, two Barbarians, sometimes three, to the Tesla up top. And we've got a Ram and one Barbarian to take out this key air defense. Then we're going to drop a pack of minions up top on the corner to take out the giant cannon. We do drop in one more pack of hogs to help assist the P.E.K.K.A. in the core. And now we're focused on the bottom side of the base. We've got the P.E.K.K.A. to do some distracting as well as a pack of hogs to help take out the hidden Tesla. And we drop in some packs to directly target the rock artillery. And very key to take out that multi-cannon because that can do a lot of damage. So now it's just a matter of how many troops survive and what is left on the base that you can take out. So getting our hogs in closer and closer. Very, very close to taking out this rock artillery, which would have been a few more hundred extra points. Sadly, we do not get it, but we do still get over the 6,000 points. We get 6,335. So next on the list is a Golem Quarry, a first attack. This one is the basic layout as well. So I like to go in with a little bit of a different army. I like to bring in the one pack of the... Larry Barrels to go on the right hand side to take out a lot of these single targeting defenses. And then typically I'll send in a pack of hogs to try and directly target the multi cannon and then a ram, of course, to open up the wall. So that's just a matter of how much of the base we can take out. Ideally, we want to try and push into the core, and then we have a few of our graveyard spells to drop over some of the weaker splash targeting defenses. So. We are getting pretty heavily slammed by this blast bow, which is unfortunate. It is what sort of causes us to not get as many points as we should have. We'll start to speed things up here a little bit. We do take out the back end rocket artillery, which is perfect. But as you can see, the attack is sort of starting to fiddle out. We do have a bunch of the graveyard skeletons that's going to do some work. Clear out that right hand side of the base, but there is not really anything to help take out the crusher I have a couple of rams to try and distract but we do not quite get the 6,000 points on this attack just over 5,000 instead so gonna have to pick up the slack try to hit some better bases going forward to try and make up those points so as luck would have it we have a basic default layout of the balloon lagoon very very rare almost never see these bases anymore but what we can do is we can drop in a graveyard spell over each of the rocket artilleries and a lot of times those graveyard skeletons are going to completely kill those rocket artilleries because they are very very exposed so this is a very special army composition it is designed to sometimes one shot the entire district if you do things correctly I almost never see this anymore, and unfortunately I had kind of a busy weekend, so I was not really able to watch the one-shot video, plan accordingly, practice, and then go in for the live hit. So, instead we were watching the replay and seeing how I was sort of able to generically take out the base. We have a nice job of the rocket artilleries shooting at each other because of those air skeletons that spawn, and then we have couple of super wizards left still alive which is nice and then typically you save one barbarian to kind of run ahead and take out that bomb tower and you have a couple of larry barrels alive to help assist here we drop in a pack of hogs on the right hand side clear out that section of the base and now there's not too much remaining i mean with just a few of those skeletons pack of hogs and the super dragon not really any way we can take out the Inferno Towers, but we did get very, very close, and we got 7,445 points in one attack. Super, super crazy. 
definitely I think the most I've ever had in one attack was probably I think it was 8,500 and that was very very unique base where a lot of the defenses were already almost destroyed so like a couple of skeleton hits from graveyards were able to clear it out here we're looking a lot at the basic layout of the skeleton park I like to drop in two packs of the graveyard spells on the blast spell because a lot of times those skeletons will bust through some of the walls and depending you know sometimes they split evenly which is kind of bad but if they all go for one wall section then they can bust through and they can clear out the majority of these defenses on that portion of the base so there's a one pack hogs taking out the cannon got some super quizzes on the district hall which is nice and then we're going to try and clear out this giant cannon try and get as close as we can because in the theory most everything should be dead by the time you get to this top giant cannon on the upper portion of the base so we do have those giants they take out the giant cannon perfectly but they are going to perish to the traps on that side of the base but we got just under 6,000 points but still I consider that a win as we have also set up the base for someone else if they choose to try and take it out in one more shot. So now we've got a very nice claim of attack on a capital peak. We had prepared the base with two other attacks, mostly using the sneaky archers and the rams and rage spells. But now that the capital peak hall is taken out, opens up the middle of the base for deployment. And then now that we've cleared off the right hand side, now can start to directly target the other air target defenses with our balloons. So it's very, very nice to take out a capital peak and clean it up with the balloons because a lot of times there are a ton of ground defenses. And a lot of times all the bombs on the capital peaks are set to ground, so not too many times will you get air bombs. But we're able to get 6,115 plus 390. So last on the list, is we're able to take out another Golem Quarry. Do a little bit better than the first time, but not quite. So this is not the basic layout, but I was really feeling it. I was really thinking like, all right, let's try and clean this base up. If we can do it, we'll get 7,000 points. And why not use air? Use rocket balloons on the Capital Peak, so why not try them out on this Golem Quarry. We have a couple balloons clear out the bottom side of the base, and then we only have three pack remaining. Where did all the balloons go? That is always a mysterious question. Most likely those pesky air bombs and rocket artillery. So, fortunately, do not have enough juice to clear out the base. And again, we get a 5,000 point attack. But we had a couple of the attacks that were you know, in the 7,000 range, so that more than makes up for it. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. There are a couple more videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. Until next time, take care.